Okay, hi everybody. So, um, some of you may know from some comments that I have posted on my channel and some other channels that I have been under heavy attack and, um, the majority of it, if not all of it, has been so-called believers that believe it is their duty to smite their fellow servant because they are putting forth a time frame for others to watch. Um, and to be honest with you, that, in my humble opinion, is a spirit of religion and a spirit of pride because... Um, nowhere in the Bible does it say to throw stones at a fellow servant just because they are setting a time frame to watch for. And I n never claim that that is when the rapture will happen, that if I show a date that that's when the rapture will happen, because I don't know, and I've said that many times, and it's ridiculous that us watchmen have to keep defending ourselves against these stone throwers. Um, and they love to, to drop scripture in there and call you a false prophet and all these things. And first of all, you can't be a false prophet if you've never claimed to be a prophet in the first place. Um, a prophet for those people who leave these kinds of comments and don't know, is someone who hears directly from the Lord. That he gives them words of knowledge and speaks to them directly. Now, he speaks to myself, and I'm sure many of you, in either that way or in different ways. And how he speaks to me is when I'm in his word, he just reveals things that are there, that are hidden, that I didn't see before. And so th when I am shown those things, I um, believe that it, it is to be edifying to share what I see. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be right about everything I see. And it's not that I'm wrong, it's just that I'm only seeing in part, just as the Word says. And um, so we have, you know, it's like someone putting a puzzle together and they, they get a solid blue piece of puzzle and... The picture is a picture with sky in it, and they have that one blue piece, and they say, I have the sky. <laughs> well, of course they have one piece, but they know that it's the sky. Um, so, and, and I never claim to have all the answers, and I never will, because I know I, I, I'm not foolish enough to think that I do have all the answers. And I, yes, I have gotten really excited before because when he showed me the first thing regarding my little uh, timetable regarding the two feasts, I, I just couldn't believe how everything fell into place. And so, yes, I got really excited. But anyway, I don't want to go on and on about that. I just want to say that um, I never claimed to be a prophet. And this is this message is not for those of you who <laughs> love me and love what I share. So, you know, you can um, do something else while I say that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, yeah, I, I've never claimed to be a prophet. And just because I point things out that the Lord shows me uh, and those things don't come to pass, of course, doesn't mean I'm a false prophet. But we all know what spirit's behind that. So if these people think they're fooling anyone, uh, we need to pray for them. So anyway, getting on with it. Um, I could not, I, I, I just 
you know, after those attacks, I didn't want, <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't want to do any more videos with dates in them. <laughs> and, um, so, of course, I, you know, uh, decided I wasn't going to do it. And then he reminded me that he has shown me things that point to this time frame now, and it doesn't mean that he's going to come during the Feast of Hanukkah. He might just be saying, be ready, because as we know, it's a stepping stone, it's a breadcrumb, it's, it's to keep us going forward, because we are weak in our flesh, and if we don't have something to keep, you know, us to keep moving forward, then we might fall down in exhaustion. And he says, get up, soldier, and keep marching. And he knows that getting us excited about a time frame is how um, many of us can keep marching. So if you've stumbled across this video and you don't like dates, please click off now. <laughs> and we will pray for you. Um, I am not saying that the rapture will happen on that date. So if the date comes and goes, then... Um, Pray that you receive wisdom and understanding regarding the message that I'm trying to give. So, the reason I can't give up on... Hang on, sorry. Your itch. On um, Hanukkah is because... He has reminded me, you know, I've gotten two dreams. One about a fall festival and time stopping and being reset. And one specifically about the dead in Christ rising, and it was Feast of Tabernacles. So, um, I have to admit something, though. In my last video that I talked about Hanukkah, um, I showed the calendar uh, for the Feast of Dedication, or Hanukkah, being in December, which is when the Jews will be celebrating it beginning on the evening of December 2nd, and, um, and who knows, maybe he wants to show both, but he reminded me, I did that after I received a vision, I had woken up, this was last week sometime, or it was before the last video that I put up, last five, and I had woken up in the morning, I had, I was awake, I had just woken up, but I hadn't opened my eyes yet, and I clearly saw a bunch of fireworks, and then, in my spirit, I heard, start over. And I knew what he meant. I was like, are you pointing to Hanukkah being in January? Be beginning on the 31st of December? So, I was like, I don't want to believe that. I don't, we, I don't want to go that far. So then he gave me confirmation. And in a dream, I had, um, so I had that vision, waking vision. And then I had a dream where someone that I knew was um, very special and I didn't, couldn't see who it was, but he was kissing me, and I had, I mean, I, that's pretty much all I remember, but I had the sense that it was some kind of celebration. So then I thought, oh boy, you know, what happens at midnight on New Year's Eve? Everybody does the, that kiss thing. So I was like, okay. Um, and then... As I decided to look into that further of Hanukkah beginning the month later since um, we went ahead the 30 days, um, all kinds of things started tying together from all different books and verses and they all were just, he was just flooding me with this thing ties to that thing, and I was like, oh boy. So, I'm going to share. So, I don't know if anything's going to happen in December, 
or January for the Feast of Hanukkah, but I feel that I need to share what was pointed out to me. And and like I said, he may or may not come during that time, but something else may happen before he comes during that time. And so maybe he's showing this because he wants us to have something to hold on to in case, you know, he comes after things happen. And I, I, I have, I do have a feeling that we will be here for something big. Um, and then before I forget this morning, <laughs> as I, he just reminded me, as I said that this morning, I typed and I heard a word in my dream that I had early this morning and um, I still haven't figured out what it is but so I typed it into Google to see what came up and um, I think there was only one hit and and I couldn't really find much so I decided to just scroll through the Google page you know the Google home page because um, I like to see what the headlines are showing there and um, um, I was, let's see, what did I, oh, there was, I think it was an astronomy website, and they were talking about being able to see the constellation Pegasus, and every time I think of Pegasus, I think of Isaiah 40, 31, which is my favorite verse, about mounting up with wings like eagles, and, um, we know that the enemy has hijacked uh, the what the Father has put in the heavens with the stars, the stories that he has placed up there. And to me, the whole story of Perseus saving Andromeda, um, you know, writing up on... Uh, Pegasus is, you know, of course, it's all Greek mythology, but to me, it's Yeshua coming on his white horse to rescue his bride, because Andromeda is chained to a rock, and then Leviathan comes up from the sea to devour her, and I was reading, because it was giving the the mythology along with, you know, talking about being able to see the constellation, and it said that you know, Perseus comes to rescue Andromeda chained to the rock in the nick of time. I'm like, oh, okay, in the nick of time. If you remember my vision that I had, uh, where I saw the, the guy shaving, and I, I knew it was Yeshua, he was shaving his beard, and he nicked his chin, and it, and it bled a little bit. And um, then, within 30 minutes, <laughs> I clicked on those, you know, the clickbait pictures where they get you to look at all the different slides. <laughs> and it was about um, pictures being taken before something drastic happens, you know. And one of the pictures, the caption, it was talking about, and it's, it, it called it a close shave. So it, within 30 minutes of each other, I read in the nick of time and close shave, which is exactly my vision that I put in the one video, the urgent video that I took down because um, I don't like setting dates, guys. I, I the, the only time I do any kind of date watching is at the feast days because they're on a calendar. Other than that, my videos don't contain dates. But, um, uh, so I was like, are you trying to tell me something? So anyway, um, so yeah, let me share with you everything that he showed me in regards to Hanukkah and how it all ties together. And there's lots of different verses from different books. So let's go ahead and get into that. <laughs> 